Yeah, since this generator had a little problem with the carburetor getting clogged up again, it's not actually a bad fuel. What's going on is uh, it's dirt and the gas, and it's got a little fuel filter back behind here. What I'm going to do is install one of these inline ones, a little bit bigger. Might want to cover it up with some Gorilla Tape because it might rub on something. But if you have any doubt as to which way they flow, you see this arrow right here? I don't know if you can barely see it. It says, actually that's upside down, it says towards carb. So the fuel goes in that side and comes out there, okay? So, simple procedure, just that the hoses might be, I noticed these are probably, it's a Vanguard engine, and it's um, a six millimeter on, it's about a quarter inch on the hoses, so what's going on is, Probably don't have the exact size, but I'll force it in there to work. You can see that's a little stupid filter they got with them, and it's probably just screwed up. <laughs> so we'll get that puppy out of there. Anyway, doing this one handed here. And probably need a little screwdriver to pry it out. So just, this is what I do when these are stuck on here, just to make sure I don't rip the hoses. Bunch of hose in there actually, but I'm not going to change it. It's not really wrong with it. But what I do is I will use this to a uh, screwdriver, get it out there so I can pry it out. And actually, I'll spray a little WD-40 in there if it really is stuck, just to get it going. Okay. And I should be able to pull it off. Pull it off easy then. Now I know a lot of people know about, hey, you yeah, install an inline filter, no problem, right? Easy. Um, and it's got the direction marked on it, but the other thing is, if you're reusing the old hose, I always reuse like old stuff if it's still good. The part that gets most screwed up is the end. Even though I didn't screw up the end on this, that's the part that was under compression. So if you got a little, I always, when I, like, if this is the factory hose, but when I install a hose, I always give it little more length because I can always cut the end off that's usually the spot that gets screwed up and to put this on this filter is just a slight mount bigger than that one right you can see and I could still get it on here now some people would take WD-40 to get you know the lube in here or something like that use grease just any kind of grease Grease will get it on there better than WD-40. It'll slide on there easier if you're trying to put an oversized fitting on a hose. The other thing is it's going to be sitting behind here, and I'm going to actually uh, put some tape around it to keep it a little more insulated because I don't want it touching nothing or getting hot or anything because it's kind of big. But that filter should actually... Uh, keep all the dirt out and I shouldn't have a problem in the future so the next step is put a little grease on here on the ends and inside the hose so we can uh, go ahead and install this puppy yeah the grease will just dissolve I mean it's not going to screw up the gas or nothing like that it'll probably you know <laughs> probably make a hair bit of oil smoke or something tiny bit and then we'll just be able to slide this on it's gonna be kind of hard to slide on here but if you try to use WD-40 on this I tried this from experience it don't work that easy use grease use grease okay so I got to I routed the filter off to the front because it would have been touching over here and that could get hot and I just kind of wrapped it with some tape just in case it rubs or anything but it shouldn't it's on here with a tie tie and I could still see the fuel. Turned out the carburetor clogged up again um, because when you fill this stuff up with cans, gas cans, sometimes on the bottom of the gas can there's some crap and I guess it's on the bottom of the fuel tank and this filter is not working at all so that filter should work fine. So I cleaned out the carb again, just took the bottom off, blew out the needle valve, um, just took a, a hose like this Stuck it on the needle valve on the car, blew it out, 
sprayed some WD-40 in there, blew it out again, and it seems to be getting plenty of fuel in here now. You can see it. You can see it down in there. So, <laughs> pays to be ready for this shit. So, it should work now. Anyway, because uh, this thing seemed to clog up really fast, and I guess, you know, I guess it was the stupid filter. It's a piece of garbage, and I'm not going to get another OEM filter like this because they don't really, they're designed to kind of fit in the space behind here. I'm like, screw that. <laughs> I get a big chopper. Like I said, you know, this is a little bit smaller size. You just put some grease on the end. You'll be able to slide it over the... Uh, smaller hose pretty well as long as it's not ridiculously different and what I do is the like I said the end of the hose I trim that off because that part of the hose is you know it's a problem man it gets screwed up after a while so you want to change just and we got plenty of hose over here in case it fucks up that's the right size <laughs> I got about 25 feet or whatever the hell that is 20 yeah almost 25 feet so anyway over and out, it should be doing it, it should be correct, and no problem.